my channel and today's video is a watch me work design. So as always I will pop all the links to the products I've used in the description box along with any discount codes I may have for the companies. If you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to click that subscribe button and no messing around today, let's get on with the design. Mwah! So welcome to a part two of my Rosie G video and as you can see the nails have all been filed into shape and refined and are looking much more like nails and less of that sort of colour blocking mess that they were in the previous video. So I'm going in first of all with my Team Gorgeous top gloss and top coating all of these nails, just a nice thin coat making sure I cap the free edge and Big news coming now, I think it is now released actually, there is a new Team Gorgeous top gloss available uh, along with a couple of new um, gel products for use on natural nails. I will hopefully be bringing you more information on those very very soon. Um, but for now, I'm using my well-loved original Team Gorgeous Top Gloss. Um, now, I am really pleased with how that colour blocking nail came out. Full disclosure, there was a little bit of a gap where I hadn't put enough of the Rosy G glitter. But once it was laying down, it looked fine. And considering colour blocking is not something I normally do, I was happy with it. So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And let's get on with some decoration. Uh, so I am using my Glitter Planet Nail Mate size, size 5 3D brush and whipped cream and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a 3D rose, I think it ended up looking like a rose, uh, on that what would be ring finger nail. Now I am no expert when it comes to 3D, I just have a go from where I've watched other people doing it. So. I'm just very quick, quickly going to tell you what I do and then I'm going to let you watch. So um, I pick up a small bead of my acrylic, drain out plenty of liquid and place it on the nail roughly where I want it to be. Allow it to settle and start to turn slightly matte and then I go in with my brush uh, sort of push it into shape uh, and pat it out until I am happy with it and then I just keep repeating the process until my flower is um, sort of how I want it. So you can see I've put it on and then I'm pushing the tip of the brush in to make a C shape. That is what I will do if I'm doing roses or similar sort of flowers and then use sort of the belly of the brush to push it out. Now this um, size 5 Glitter Planet brush is one of the best I have used for 3D work. Like I said, I've not done loads and I've not really done it on camera before, uh, but I thought it was about time I started pushing myself a little bit more in my videos and my work. So I'm hopefully going to do a bit more 3D work in future. Um, but I'm definitely loving this brush, it does make it so much easier easier um, it is a great little brush and as I mentioned in the previous video but just to remind you I do have a discount code for glitter planet it is Helen 10 it will get you 10% off everything in store so if you want to go and check out this brush or any of the others um, use that code and get yourself 10% off um, so I'm going to finish off this uh, flower and I'm going to let you watch and then I'll be back um, to finish off the rest of the design.
I'm back. Did you miss me? So my little rose is all complete. And what does every flower need? A leaf, of course. Um, so I'm going in with a slightly bigger bead of acrylic done in exactly the same way, drained out a lot of the liquid, placed it on, left it for a moment or two. And then I'm sort of pushing it so that it flows around one of the petals so it looks part of the flower and not just sort of plonked on the nail because we want it all to flow together nicely i wish you could see me doing this voiceover because my hands are going mad um but back to what i'm actually doing on camera and then pulling it into a leafy shape patting it out so it's not too big and then when i'm happy with that shape i'm going in with a cuticle pusher and putting in some veins and um, I'm surprised I thought of the word veins because normally even the simplest of words escape me when I'm filming. Um, and there we go, that is my flower complete. So now it's time to add some bling bling. And I've got some rose gold crystals from Nail Tech Supplies. I'm also using the Nail Picker Upper and the bling on adhesive. Uh, and Nail Tech Supplies is where I get my uh, Lottie hands which I use in these videos. Um, and so I'm going to do some rose gold crystals um, just around the um, rose and on the nail. So I use a gel brush to brush on the adhesive. It's just a cheap um, one I got from Amazon. It's perfect for brushing on this adhesive. And this adhesive is fantastic. I am loving it um, because you can use it over top of a top coat. Uh, and because you cure it in a lamp, it doesn't take forever to dry and the nail, the crystals moving around. Um, so I'm definitely recommending this at the moment. And it is super strong. It holds them in place. It is brilliant. So I've sort of added a few little crystals around the flower itself. And then I've got some coming out from between the flower and the leaf. And then I'm going to have some just sort of flowing around just for some bling and I went with the rose gold to tie it all together and then once I'm happy with the placement of all of these crystals just adding some little ones oh not quite enough of the adhesive so it didn't hold in place um, and the picker upper is great too plus it's got a pointy end on the end so you can move it around but I'm going to cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm just going to top coat this nail again. So I'm just going to get some top coat in and amongst those crystals. And then I'm going to go in with a um, detailing brush and get right in and amongst them. And then I will cure that for 60 seconds. Now, if you guys like the look of my Lottie hand or this adhesive, the crystals or anything else, I do have a discount code for you to use at Nail Tech Supplies now. It is NTS Cinder Heli 10. It will get you 10% off anything in store, so please check it out. And that is the end of this design. Um, and I'm really pleased with how this one came out. I'm going to be honest because I have pushed myself a little bit in this video. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and part one. Please feel free to leave me any comments down below. As always, I'll pop all the links to the products I have used in the description box and you can also find my discount codes for Team Gorgeous, Glitter Planet and Nail Tech Supplies there too. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, please check out part one of these two videos and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon. Bye for now! Mwah!